Uh, YouTube world, what's going on? All right, it's your man Barry Bonds. All right, I just want to chat with you guys, give you a short little message about everything that glitters is not gold, aka what you think is nine times out of ten isn't. All right, I don't know which way. Okay, I got it right. So, look, let me tell you like this, man. I've been in the music industry and around the music industry pretty much for the past 20 years, all right? So, in doing so, you know, I've pretty much seen a lot of things and a lot of, you know, people, companies, situations, you know, that I would approach or encounter where I thought like, oh my God, this is the best, this is the greatest, this is just the top, you know, thing you know, there is at the time. It's kind of like, um, well, you know, it's like uh, believing in Santa Claus. And then one day you find out that Santa Claus is not real. You know, so I just want to get this, 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 this lesson. Here it is. In life, and this is something that I kind of coined the term. In life, there are, there are no gray areas. Either, it either is or isn't. All right. And in life, you'll see, especially us coming up, being attracted to this music industry and this entertainment world where we're just enamored with all of the trappings, with the life, the lifestyle, you know, everything that comes with the music industry. We're just enamored by it. But we don't know what really goes on behind the scenes. You know, what's the backstory? So now, you know, I mean, there's an emergence of interest uh, in the backstory nowadays, you know, with the inception of podcasting and, you know, more in-depth interviews on the lifestyle, but still you're not able to really, really see because they still show you what they want to show you in that sense. But I'm just going to give you a little story. Growing up in Cincinnati, Ohio, all my life, I just wanted to be a part of bad boy entertainment. It was the label that was just that pretty much personified my whole you know adult adolescent years let's say that back in high school you know puff and them was rocking i mean they couldn't do any wrong man they didn't have any you know they all it was all hits that's it all hits um so you know they sold me on the lifestyle and uh you know i just felt so inclined that if i'm going to be in this music industry i definitely want to be under the label, or work for the label, bad boy. So I would tell all my friends growing up in high school, like, yo, watch, one day I'm going to work for bad boy. Watch, I'm going to work for bad boy. I'm definitely going to work for bad boy. And that's all they knew. You know, I would tell them that. They knew I was very much involved or enamored and, and intrigued by the music industry. You know, I come up with a long, you know, with a little line of people that came up in the music industry, like my uncle who taught me everything I know. Uh, he used to manage a lot of great groups. But um, once I graduated high school, I uh, I went to college, and from there it was a thing where I basically wanted to, you know, go after this goal. Damn bees! Get all right. Sorry about that. So when I did, I. Uh, my junior year of college, you know, I just said, look, man, screw this. You know, I want to go. I want to get in the industry. I want to get in the music biz. So I left and I went to New York. And um, once I did that, I um, I wanted to, you know, go to Bad Boy. That was just, the, you know, the overall. So I'm skipping over a lot here because there's a lot that happened. And it was a few, you know, interesting factors that brought me to New York actually but you know I'm going to glaze over that just so that we keep this thing you know under 10 minutes but got to New York and I was working at Universal Republic interning there and I applied and, and had an interview for uh, Sony so upon leaving the interview I was a little bummed out because when I went to Sony this great label uh, I'm sorry Motown Motown when I went to Motown you know this great you know historic black label you know, when I went to the doors, you know, uh, other label, seriously, I mean, I just didn't recognize it. It was all white kids, all gothic, you know, you know, green and, and aqua hair and shit, you know, all black clothing. You know what I'm saying? They look like 
it was a it was a rock label, you know. So I was very bummed out, and uh, I was walking down the street, you know, in my feelings, and I happened to see someone that I knew. So it was this girl named Charisma, and you know, me and her, we were very good friends. And, you know, she saw me and we hadn't seen each other in years. And she was like, yo, B, what's good? So we talking and she was like, where are you coming from? I said, I had an interview over at uh, uh, Motown. And she was like, well, how'd it go? I was like, uh, you know, who knows? You know what I'm saying? I'm just disappointed. She was like, oh, well, why don't you come work where I work? And I was like, oh, okay, well, where is that? She was like, I work over at Bad Boy. I was like, what? Wow. So from there... Uh, I actually went with her. She said, come on, I'll get your internship right now. True to true to a word. We went inside and I sat there in the lobby for two and a half hours until they met with me. Gave them my information, a handshake. And they said, we'll see you on Monday. And there it is. I'm with bad boy, you know, but this is the thing. This is the point of the situation is that, you know, my expectations going in was, you know, very, uh, uh, my expectations were, you know, huge. I was just like, oh my God, it's just going to be a great experience. And, you know, I'm going to be in this, you know, great label. But when I actually got there on Monday and I, and, and even, you know, uh, months ahead of that or months after that, you know, I just saw that this whole thing was just pretty much smoke and mirrors. You know, it wasn't all the fun, the glitz and the glamour that, you know, you see on TV, you know, it was a lot of hard work. And to most of you, it was boring. You know, it was like working at any other job. It was like working at, you know, a a phone company. I always said, I always use that analogy. It was like working at a phone company. It was like working at a telemarketing company. It was like working at a normal office position, office job. And uh, that was just my thing. So, you know, from there, it just taught me that, that most of these things, most of these, you know, things that we look forward to and, you know, look, look high upon. You know, most of it's just smoke and mirrors, man. You know, so you have to manage expectations because if you don't, you'll definitely get your feelings hurt. You know, that's why they say don't meet your idols because once you meet your idols, you'll be disappointed. And that's very true in a lot of instances. I got stories on that, too. But I just want to give you this little this little this little gem here because a lot of you guys are, you know, just pretty much risking it all just to get into the music industry. And really, it's smoke and mirrors. That's what it is. Smoke and mirrors. And some of you will make it, a lot of you won't. And I'll say, don't risk, don't put all cards in on this if you can. All right. I can't tell you what to do with your dream, but look, it's not smart to put all cards up on this. All right. Seriously. Um, You know, you want to make sure that you have some type of plan B, you know, go to school, get your degree just so that, you know, it doesn't happen. You can fall back on something. And I know it sounds cliche, but it's definitely real. Because right now, you can't get a, a, a good paying job without having a degree. You know, they're locking you out. That's Trump's way of saying, buy American, hire American. You know what I'm saying? And apparently, we ain't American. So, uh, just want to give you this gem. I'll be coming through with more gems as well in the future. You know, check me out. If you don't know, please tune in every day to the rapfest.com. Get all your new sports and hip hop news and happenings and content. And you can reach it at www.therapfest, T H E R A P F E S T dot com. All right. Yeah, this is your man Barry Bond signing out. AR Report is lit.